Hello, Amy. Hi, Sam. Oh, I, I, I see something amazing. I see a, a T-Rex waving hello to me. This is our friend Tyson. Oh, hello, Tyson. Are you going to join us for today's story time? Yeah, he, um, he's been here since Squirrel left. So <laughs> it, it's been Just really, really exciting at my house. Patiently waiting for his turn. <laughs> You don't often have a T-Rex hanging around your house, Sam. Yeah, I, I'm surprised that the squirrel didn't feel a little uh, threatened. <laughs> he's, a, he's a vegetarian. Look at Tyson's like, what, me? <laughs> oh, well, since we have Tyson, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, I think today we might be talking about the letter T. Terrific. Tasty. <laughs> Okay, well, Amy, you know, even in with a fabulously fantastic letter like T, we have to get warmed up because our bodies aren't quite ready for story time. So let's do the alphabet beat. You got it? You ready? Okay, let's ready. do it. First, clap your hands and stomp your feet. Now everybody do the alphabet beat. Apple, apple, apple. A, A, A. Apple, apple, apple. A, A, A. Now wave your arms high and swing them down low. The alphabet beat is the way to go. Bubble, bubble, bubble. B, B, B. Bubble, bubble, bubble. B, B, B. Now move to the left and move to the right. The alphabet beat is way out of sight. Cougar, cougar, cougar. C, C, C. Cougar, cougar, cougar. C, C, C. Now, <laughs> shout it out loud and whisper down low. Just one more alphabet beat to go. Uh, dingo, dingo, dingo. D, D, D. Dingo, dingo, dingo. D, D, D. Now, give a high five to a nearby friend. The alphabet beat has come to an end. All right, we're all warmed up. What you got, Amy? I have some terrific T words, Sam. Mm, I'm totally in. So first of all, Tualatin is known for growing these majestic things all around our city so much that we celebrate a whole month in April. Trees. Not, oh, wow. <laughs> you have a tree with eyeballs. <laughs> He's like the creepiest puppet ever. He, is. he looks like something out of Wizard of Oz. You know, like one of those trees that's like really a little menacing. <laughs> I am terrified of that tree. <laughs> okay. Um, next up, we have an animal that lives in the jungles in like India, I think Pakistan. Tigers. Yeah, tiger, tiger, burning bright. Lovely. So cute. Tigers okay. are the biggest uh, of the cats. They're bigger than lions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're cool. Okay, um, we sing about this for type of transportation every week. At the end oh, of trains. Trains. Yeah. <laughs> yep, kids, later you'll get on the goodbye train. Okay, the next one might be a little bit of a stumper, but I, I was reaching. Um, it's Great. a dog. It's a type of dog. They tend to be little and barky. And when they were originally around, they went down, I think, rat holes. Terriers? Oh, and that looks like a Yorkshire Terrier right there. Yeah, still I that. love we're a Terrier. Gonna, we're going to use Yorkshire for why, Sam, so if okay. this ever happened. Okay, well, there's Boston Terriers, and you're right, there's Rat Terriers that are actually much smaller than the other ones, and they're very fast, very skilled. Okay, well, our next creature is not known for its swiftness, and I believe you're going to sing a song about them later. And oh, when, when <laughs> okay, babies, that, that was a good clue. <laughs> yeah, when they're babies, like, they have to 
crawl to the ocean and it's like one of the most dangerous times in their lives. Turtles. Turtles. Oh, well, I, I do believe T, just like S almost, is just rife with all kinds of great stuff to use for heckity peckity bumblebees. So are, are you ready for it, Amy? I'm so ready. Okay. Are you going for one and three or do you want two and four? I believe one and three. Okay, let's do it. So you get the first one. So what are we going to do? Train. Train. That's perfect. Okay, so train goes like this. Heckity peckity bumblebee, won't you say this word with me? Train, 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 train. <laughs> okay, so that's one and we're up to two now. Let's do tiger. Tigers are so cool. I really love a tiger. So let's celebrate tiger heckity peckity form. Okay, it goes like this. Heckity peckity bumblebee, won't you say this word with me? Tiger, 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 tiger! That's one and two. What three Z do you have? Terrier. Terrier, perfect, awesome. Just saw one of those, all right. Heckity peckity bumblebee, won't you say this word with me? Terrier. Terrier, terrier, terrier. Okay, so we did one, two, and three. We're up to four. You know, I love a dinosaur. <laughs> and there's one that has like, if I had another hand, I could do it. <laughs> that has three horns. You know what that three horn dinosaur is? Yeah, it's a, this one. Here, if I could put a hand over your nope, I can't do it. Yep, you got it. Try ceratops. Ceratops. <laughs> Let's do a triceratops. Because I think last week we did Stegosaurus, right? Yeah. There's a lot of good four-syllable dinosaurs out there. So okay, let's celebrate another four-syllable dinosaur, triceratops. Goes like this. Heckity peckity bumblebee. Won't you say this word with me? Triceratops. Triceratops. Triceratops! <laughs> hmm. I do believe it's story time and could be about a tree, could be about a tiger, it could be about a triceratops, it could be about a T-Rex, it could be about a lot of things. It could. Uh, this week's book required my husband's assistance and he provided not just the voice of tiger, but he also did all of the sound effects. Oh, and I bet that was a laugh riot. I love that book. Today's story is Tiger Can't Sleep by SJ4 and illustrated by R.W. Alley. And my husband, Rich, is playing the part of Tiger and doing added bonus side up. Sound effects. Okay, tiger can't sleep. Boring in papers. Pretty title page though. Yeah. Cozy bed. Time to sleep. But I can't sleep because there's a tiger in my closet. A tiger in my closet eating potato chips. Please be quiet in there. I'm trying to sleep, I tell the tiger. Oops, tiger is sorry. Tiger will be quiet, the tiger says. Everything is quiet. I try to sleep. Then I hear boingy, boingy, boingy. Shh, didn't you hear me? I'm trying to sleep. Will you please be quiet in there? Oops, tiger is sorry. Tiger will be quiet now. The tiger says, I'm just starting to doze when I hear. Ow! I can't sleep because there's a tiger trying to do cartwheels in my closet and falling down. My eyes pop open. Shh! Please be quiet in there. I can't sleep, I tell the tiger. And no more cartwheels. You're, you are going to hurt yourself. 
Oops, tiger is sorry. Tiger won't make another sound. The tiger stops kerthumping and ouching and everything is quiet again. I try to sleep, but it's impossible to sleep when you have a talented tiger in your closet. Oompa, oompa, oompa. <laughs> Tiger! Quiet! You are driving me crazy. I'm trying to sleep. I don't want to hear any more noise. No tapping. No tuba playing. No drumming. Not one more single noise! Oops. Tiger is sorry. Tiger will be very, very quiet, the tiger says. But I don't listen to the tiger this time. I take the drums and cymbals away from him. I grab the potato chips, the ball, the tap shoes, the banjo, and the tuba. Now, no more noise. I march back to my bed and climb in. <sighs> Everything is quiet. Maybe the tiger has finally stopped, stopped making noise. I try to sleep. Then I hear... <coughs> I can't sleep because there's a tiger turning the light on and off in my closet. Tiger! That does it! Stop! Don't make me come back over there! Oops, Tiger is sorry. Ty please don't be mad. Tiger will be quiet from now on. Promise. The tiger says. The light stops click clacking. Everything is quiet again. I listen. I listen harder. I don't hear a thing. Everything is quiet for one minute. Everything is quiet for two minutes. Everything is quiet for three minutes. I wonder what the tiger is doing now. Maybe the tiger is asleep. Then... <laughs> Why are you crying? I asked the tiger. It's dark in this closet. Tiger is scared. The tiger says. Can tiger sleep in your bed? Um, okay, I say. Tiger hurries out of the closet, runs across my room, jumps into my bed, gives me a big kiss, closes his eyes, and pulls the covers over his head. I close my eyes too and listen. I listen harder. I keep listening. I don't hear a thing. I don't hear any crunch, crunch, crunching. I don't hear any bounce, bounce, bouncing. I don't hear any thump, thump, ouching. I don't hear any tap, 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 tapping. I don't hear any oompa oompa -ing. I can't hear any boom 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 crashing. I can't, don't hear any click clack click clack. I don't even hear any boo hoo hooing. Everything is quiet. Now I'll finally be able to sleep. Suddenly I hear a noise coming from under the covers. It gets louder and louder and louder. I can't sleep because there's a tiger snoring in my bed. And that is the story of Tiger Can't Sleep. Thanks, Rich. Okay. <laughs> that was every bit as hilarious as I knew it could be. Because when I saw you were doing that book, I thought, oh, Rich, he's going to be able to bring it. And you guys are quite the team, so well done. Okay, so we celebrated tigers. What's another fabulous, famous tea animal that we could celebrate? That you are making there with your hand. Little turtle, and perhaps his name is Tiny Tim. <laughs> this is a classic children's song. If you don't know it, we'll give you the quick rundown. Okay, it's called, I have a little turtle. Amy's gonna make a little turtle. She's gonna show you the hand movements, okay? His name is Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water and he ate up all the soap. And not surprisingly, now he's home, sick in bed with bubbles in his throat. And then Amy's gonna make a succession of getting bigger and bigger and bigger bubbles until they can't get bigger anymore and they just pop. Okay, so it goes like this. I had a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. 
I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water, he ate up all the soap, and now he's homesick in bed with bubbles in his throat. Bubble, 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 pop. <laughs> okay, let's do it one more time, a little bit faster. We're not gonna do it three times. This time we're just gonna go straight to Super Bracket Fun Fast. You think you can do it, Amy? I hope so. I feel ready. I'm kind of excited. I love okay. this one. I'm ready to go fast. Okay, it goes like this. I had a little turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. And now he's home, sick in bed with bubbles in his throat. Bubble, 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 pop. <laughs> okay, that was fun. What? Do you have? Are you are you gonna make a make us go tee hee? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Okay, give it uh, a try. Yeah, I I only have three jokes. This oh no, I do have four. Never mind. Sorry. Okay, good. I'm, I'm glad. Four. I'd be sad if there were only three. Yeah. Okay. What kind of tree fits in the palm of your hand? Could it be a palm tree? <laughs> It's right there in the joke. I love it. <laughs> okay. What do you get when dinosaurs crash their cars? Oh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> like W-R-E-C-K-S. I was going to say Jurassic Rex. I went there and then I'm like, wait, no, no. It's got to be a Tyrannosaurus in there. <laughs> okay, I'm two for two. Okay, you're doing good. Mm -hmm. What do you get when you cross a turtle with a porcupine? Oh, this is, I know this is going to be funny. Uh, it's going to be like the slowest something or a spiky shell. Like, I kind of feel like, well, okay, I don't know. What do you get when you cross a turtle and a porcupine? A slow poke. <laughs> That's a good one. And I knew it was going to be funny. I thought I might be able to get it, but no. <laughs> okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Toodle. Toodle who? Toodaloo to you too. <laughs> Sometimes you can just see when you're walking into it. You know what I mean? It's like, you almost want to walk backwards. You want to be like, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not answering this door. <laughs> uh, Amy, have we done it again? It is is it time for the train? <laughs> well, okay. It is time to say ta-ta and time to say toodaloo. <laughs> but next week we'll be back. What letter will we be celebrating next week, Amy? Uh, we're going to do two, uh, do a twofer. We're going to do you with V. Okay. So we're going to say, we'll say hello to you and V. See you soon. Okay. Or you V. Okay. Okay. That's a nice, easy one to do one right after yeah, the other. Yeah, like it good combo there. Okay. So let's get on the goodbye train. We're going to say goodbye to T and we will say hello to you and V. Okay. Here it goes. goes like this. Get out your train. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Oh, we'll say goodbye to T. See you soon. Oh, we'll say goodbye to T. See you soon. Oh, we'll say goodbye to T. Oh, we'll say goodbye to T. Oh, we'll say goodbye to T. See you soon. Okay, we're going to say hello. Oh, we'll say hello to you, V. See you soon. Oh, we'll say hello to you, V. See you soon. 
O will say hello to you. V O will say hello to you. And V O will say hello to you. V see you soon. Nice. All right. It's going to be an unexpected victory next week. Oh, it will be unusually um, vivacious. Put on your ultraviolet underwear. <laughs>